Besides Health Watch, you might want to cut back on the cold cuts, the bacon, and other processed meats. The World Health Organization is out with a brand new report that says cured meats and red meat increases the risk of colon and stomach cancer. But before all you meat lovers panic, let's check in now with Sarah Simmons. Sarah, I know you spoke with a registered dietitian about the report. I'm interested to hear what she had to say. Yeah, you know, Sean, everyone, of course, talking about this report today all over social media. Our love affair with processed meats is taking another hit. Scientists have warned about the dangers of cured, processed, and red meats before. But this new report from a global and well-respected agency is confirming what many have speculated all along. Our burgers and hot dogs are under fire once again, this time from the World Health Organization. It declared Monday that processed meats raise the risk of certain cancers, and red meat isn't so great either. Catherine Talmadge is a registered dietitian and talked about the red meat concerns and why its possible dangers are unclear. What makes red meat correlate with a higher cancer rate is not completely understood. It may be the type of iron that's in red meat. So no matter how the red meat is produced, it may still be correlated with higher cancer risk. The results of the study aren't entirely shocking. The American Cancer Society has long warned against eating too much steak and deli meat. But meat producers are outraged. A spokesperson from the National Cattlemen's Beef Association says, quote, Billions of dollars have been spent on studies all over the world, and no single food has ever been proven to cause or cure cancer. Experts warn cured meats and red meat aren't necessarily the main cancer-causing risk. There may be certain genetics in a person that make them more prone to these cancers. These are genetically based cancers. So, um, so it may be that certain people are more prone to being affected by the cured meats or the red meats and other people. Most likely that's that's so. Now WHO's cancer unit looked at decades of research and for the first time also put processed meats in the same uh, category, uh, danger category rather, as smoking. But some experts fear that is misleading since that doesn't mean those meats are as bad as cigarettes, only that there is a confirmed link to cancer. So in a and again, I know we always say this, it's so cliche, but the nutritionist that I was talking to said it's all about moderation. That's what I was going to say. You know. So that so, doesn't mean folks who love bacon should stop eating it, you know, right, tomorrow. Right. And I do it in moderation. And we bring this up because it was all, I mean, people were freaking out on social media. Oh, yeah. Said, oh, no more bacon. Right. No, yeah. It's, it's all about moderation. Yeah. She mentioned that. So go ahead and have your dog and eat it too. <laughs> Just maybe once a week. Right? Or three times, whatever. <laughs> All right. All Thank things you. in moderation. Whatever you consider moderation, I guess, Tony. Don't <laughs> you. I don't, even, I don't even eat a hot dog. Okay. I like the fact that it's coming out just in time for the World Series, by the way, when who knows how.